the school fete. Today is the day of the school fete. Peppa loves coming to the fete. Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello everyone. Hello Peppa. I love the school fete. Me too. What do you like best? <laughs> the face painting. I like the balloons. I like the bouncy castle the best. I like everything. <laughs> A very good choice, Peppa. See you later, Peppa. See you later. George, what do you like best? Dinosaur. Oh, dear. There aren't any dinosaurs at the fete, George. Maybe we can get you a dinosaur balloon. Are you sure they have dinosaur balloons, Daddy Pig? I'm certain of it. <laughs> Could George and I get our faces painted first? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit has painted Peppa's friends as tigers. There you are, Susie. Now you look like a tiger. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! I like your face, Susie. Are you a pussycat? No! I'm a tiger! <laughs> Peppa, would you like your face painted? Yes, please. Can I be an elephant? Oh dear, I don't know how to do elephants. I can do tigers! <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tiger, please. There you are, Peppa. Now you're a tiger. <laughs> I'm a tiger! <laughs> George, what would you like to be? Dinosaur. Grr. A dinosaur? Uh, how about a tiger instead? I'm good at tigers. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> so am I. Woof, woof. Meow. Tigers don't say woof woof. How do you know? Because tigers are big cats. Meow. And I'm a cat. Candy, please can you teach us how to be tigers? Okay. Tigers creep very, very slowly, and then they jump. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? Watch this, everybody. What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> no. It's a... Dinosaur. That's right. A dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Dinosaur. Now the bouncy castle! <laughs> Peppa loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. Everyone loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. This is the best school fake ever! Mummy Pig's birthday. Today is Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Peppa and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy. <coughs> oh, what a lovely birthday surprise. And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs>
Mmm, yummy. Quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One, two. Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh no, we're not ready yet. Ah,、uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no. <laughs> is there something secret going on? Ah,、uh, no, nothing's going on. <laughs> But you can't come in. I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. Okay, Peppa. I think I know where the sitting room is. <laughs> here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Peppa. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> We need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two. Three. Oh dear, we haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. Wow, really old. Ho ho ho! You know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we just have to put up the decorations in the sitting room. <sighs> Mummy. Oh, there you all are. I was getting a little bored. Mummy, would you like to have a nice walk in the garden? <laughs> Do I have any choice? Nope. <laughs> bye, bye, Mummy. Have a lovely walk. We'll call you when it's safe to come back in. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Peppa, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa, and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely! <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three. Open your eyes. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> What a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> Mummy, mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh, you're beautiful, mummy. <laughs> Now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre tonight. Thank you. Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre, and Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> What a super birthday! I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. And the most beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are having their favourite food, spaghetti. <laughs> What a lot of noise! Finished. Ah, <laughs>、oh, now we'll have a bit of quiet. <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Peppa, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Peppa. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Peppa.
It also means the tooth fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth fairy? Yes, the tooth fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the tooth fairy will come. The tooth fairy will take the tooth, and in its place, she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a tooth fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. Before going to bed, Peppa and George brush their teeth. Peppa, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth, so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa cannot wait to get into bed. Peppa is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Peppa and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> Let's both stay awake all night and see the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> this tooth fairy is very late. <sighs> the tooth fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that tooth fairy? What is that noise? Is it the tooth fairy? George, can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the tooth fairy. I'm not going to sleep. The tooth fairy has arrived. But Peppa is asleep. Hello, Peppa. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Peppa. Good night. Peppa, George, wake up. It's morning. Oh. What? Uh, I wasn't asleep. Did the tooth fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Peppa. The tooth fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <laughs> Next time, I will stay awake, and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> the new car. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are going for a drive in their red car. Shall we have the roof down? Yes, please. <laughs> Pepper and George love their car. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, the car does not sound very well. What's wrong, Daddy? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Let's take it to Grandad Dog's garage. He can fix it. That's a good idea, Mummy Pig. Grandad Dog runs the garage. He is very good at mending cars. <laughs> Oh dear, Daddy Pig. Your car does not sound very well. Can you fix it, please, Grandad Dog? Yes, but it will take all day. Oh. We want 
wanted to go for a drive in our car. Don't worry, you can borrow this new car while I fix yours. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Grandad Dog. Would you like the roof down? Yes, please. I'll just press this red button. What a clever car! Wow! When you come back, I will have fixed your car. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Pepper and her family like the new blue car. There are so many buttons in this new car. What does the green button do, Daddy? Let's see. Magic windows. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, make the magic windows go down. <laughs> what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh. Oh no! I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops! Silly me! Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> Silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops! Not that one. This button. <laughs> Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one. one. Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Woof. Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog, and keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Woof, woof. Goodbye. 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 Bye bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too. Don't you? <laughs> Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making a treasure hunt for Pepper and George. Granny Pig is drawing the treasure map. Grandpa Pig is burying the treasure in a secret place in the garden. Grandpa Pig, have you finished? Pepper and George will be here soon. <laughs> no need to panic, Granny Pig. Pepper and her family are here. Quick, Grandpa Pig, they're here. Oh. Almost done. <laughs> oh. Grandpa Pig oh. just finished in time. Granny Pig, we're here. Grandy Pig. Hello, my little ones. Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig. Ahoy there, me hearties. Pepper, George, we've made you a treasure hunt. Somewhere in the garden is buried treasure. Wow, treasure! Where is it? Oh, you have to look for it. Here's a treasure map for Pepper. And George could wear my pirate hat. Ahoy there, Captain George! <laughs> the map is a bit difficult. Daddy, can you help? Of course, Pepper. I'm very good with maps. Uh, it is a bit difficult. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're holding the map upside down. Yes, I thought as much. It's easy. The Red Cross shows where the treasure is. But where in the garden are those two apple trees? Hmm, I don't know. Would you like a clue? Yes, please. The first clue is in a bottle. But where is the bottle? I can see it. 
<laughs> Peppa has found the first clue. A message in a bottle. Look everyone, here's the bottle. Well done, Peppa. Let's see what the message says. Oh, it's a message from a pirate. Mummy, can you read the pirate's message? Hmm, this pirate has very bad handwriting. The pirate's handwriting is excellent. No, I can't make it out at all. The pirate is clearly written. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrows? <coughs> George has found a second clue. Sticks in the shape of an arrow. Look, they point this way. <laughs> Peppa and George are following the arrows. <laughs> Look, George, a key. Peppa has found the next clue. A key. Well done, Peppa. <coughs> now you just have to find the treasure chest that it unlocks. But there aren't any more clues. Maybe you should take another look at the map. Look, Peppa, the map has two apple trees on it. Here's an apple tree. And here's an apple tree. So the treasure must be here. Let's take a look. Oh dear, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Hang on, there is something here. Treasure! Hooray! Hooray! Well done! <laughs> well done! <laughs> I've got the key to open it. Wow! I can't believe it! Gold coins! They must be worth a fortune. It's better than that. They're not gold coins. They're chocolate coins. And there's a chocolate coin for everybody. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George love chocolate coins. Everyone loves chocolate coins. Granny, Grandpa, this is the best treasure hunt ever. <laughs> <laughs> Not very well. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have just made breakfast for Pepper and George. Breakfast is ready. Peppa has red spots on her face. Mummy, I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Peppa, you don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Peppa is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm, put Peppa to bed and I'll come straight round. Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Pepper better. Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Yeah, disgusting. You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Pepper must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Pepper have visitors? Oh yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. Goodbye, Doctor Brown Bear. Bobby, can I get up now? Doctor Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Pepper. <sighs> But it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. Can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. <coughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. <coughs> May Peppa talk with Susie, please? <coughs> Hello, Susie. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr. Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. So are you really ill? Yes, yes. It's not pretend. 
but I have to stay in bed. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear gave me medicine that tasted really horrible. I'm coming to see you. Meh. <laughs> I'm going to wear my nurse's outfit. Susie Sheep has come to see Peppa. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. <laughs> Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm not very well, Susie. I have to stay in bed. What can we do to make you better? <laughs> You could get me some orange juice. OK. <laughs> Peppa seems to be quite enjoying herself. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Do you feel any better? A little bit. <coughs> Danny? Well, ask my mummy if I could have some ice cream. And Rebecca, could you bring me some flowers from the garden? Dr. Brown Bear is here to see if Pepper is better. Ah, good. The nurse is already here. How is the patient? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. I see. Would you like me to take a look myself? Yes, please. I say, no more red spots. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? How do you feel? I think I should stay in bed a little bit more. Hmm. I fancy a game with this ball in the garden. Who wants to join me? Me, me, me. Me too. <laughs> well, I never. A complete recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are very excited today. It is snowing outside. Mummy, can we go and play in the snow? Yes, but it's very cold outside, so you must wrap up warm. Hooray! <laughs> and don't forget to wear your hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> it is very cold outside. Pepper and George must wear their hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are making footprints in the snow. <laughs> Pepper and George love making footprints in the snow. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> George, let's play snowballs. Pepper has made a snowball. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a lot of fun. George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> oh dear, maybe this game is getting a little too rough. Sorry, George. <laughs> George, let's build a snowman. <laughs> Pepper and George are making a snowman. First they make the body. George, this is the snowman's body. Now they make the snowman's head. Now he needs arms and eyes and a mouth. George has found some sticks for the snowman's arms. Pepper has found some stones for the snowman's eyes and mouth. This is his face. Now the snowman needs a nose. Pepper has got a carrot. 
to make the snowman's nose. The snowman looks very happy, but maybe he is a bit cold. The snowman needs some clothes to keep it warm. <laughs> George has found some clothes to keep the snowman nice and warm. The snowman is wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Mummy, Daddy, come and look. Mummy Pig is wearing her hat and scarf and gloves. That is the best snowman I have ever seen. <laughs> Daddy Pig looks quite cold. He isn't wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Ah, chew! Daddy, why aren't you wearing your hat and scarf and gloves? I don't know where they are. I can't find them anywhere. I think I know where Daddy's hat, scarf, and gloves are. Daddy Pig's hat and scarf and gloves are on the snowman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Windy Castle. <laughs> Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Peppa, George, today we're going to Windy Castle. What's Windy Castle, Daddy? It's a castle on a very high hill. <laughs> George likes castles. Windy Castle sounds like a boring thing for boys. No, Peppa, you'll love it. There's a great view from the top of Windy Castle. You can even see Granny and Grandpa's house. Wow! Let's go. How <laughs> map read and Mummy Pig will drive. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? When you map read, we always get lost and you get grumpy. We will not get lost, and I will not get grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Windy Castle, here we come. Are we nearly there yet? Not quite. Oh. Would you like to play a game? Yes, please. Let's play I Spy. Okay, I'll go first. Daddy Pig has to secretly look at something, and the others have to guess what it is. I spy with my little eye something coloured red. Red? My dress! That's red! No, it's not your dress. Hmm. The car! That's right! Our red car! <laughs> <laughs> my go! I spy with my little eye something blue. Hmm. George's blue shirt. Nope. Is it something in the car? No. Give up! Yes. The sky. The blue sky. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? I know exactly where we are. Although, this road doesn't look the same as it does on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost. We are not lost. So how do we get to Windy Castle from here? Just give me a moment. Hmm... I know. We can ring Granny and Grandpa. There's no need to ring Granny and Grandpa. I'll get us to Windy Castle if it takes me all day. We haven't got all day. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading, and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best route. Uh, keep on the main road until you see Windy Castle up ahead. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. We follow the main road and look out for Windy Castle. As I thought. <laughs> <laughs> look! Is that a castle? Yes, it's Windy Castle. Come on, car. Go on, car. You can make it. Hooray! Peppa and her family have arrived at Windy Castle. Wow, it's so tall. <laughs> Let's go inside. The view from the top is fantastic. <laughs> wow. Look at the view. Mummy, 
Is that Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, it is. It's so far away. Let's take a look through the telescope. Can I look first, please? Yes, but you must let George look next. Wow! The telescope makes everything look bigger. I can see Granny and Grandpa. Look, George. <coughs> Ganky Ig, Papa Ig. George is waving at Granny and Grandpa. Silly George. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa are too far away to see you waving. I know. We can ring them. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We can see you from Windy Castle. Wave at us. Granny and Grandpa are waving at us. <laughs> I love Windy Castle. My <laughs> <laughs> cousin Chloe. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in the garden. To me, George. You threw the ball too hard, George. So the rules say I win. Now it's my turn. <laughs> I win again. Pepper, George, today your big cousin Chloe is coming to visit. It's me, cousin Chloe. George, Chloe is a big girl like me, so don't be sad if she finds you too little to play with. Oh, I'm sure Chloe will play with both of you. Chloe's here. Auntie Pig has brought Chloe to spend the day at Pepper's house. <laughs> Chloe is Pepper and George's cousin. <laughs> Chloe is a bit older than Pepper and George. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. <laughs> See you later. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> yes, let's play catch. Pepper loves playing catch. Do you still play catch? That's a game for little children. Oh, we only play catch because George likes it. Okay, let's play it for George. Do you play it with the proper rules or the baby rules? Proper rules. I'll start. <coughs> Pepper, you're it. Catch me if you can. <coughs> Pepper is it. She has to chase Chloe and George. Can't catch me. <laughs> George, I'm going to easily catch you. You're so little. <laughs> That's not fair. You're helping George. That's because he's little. Do you want me to help you? No, I don't need help. I'm a big girl like you. Come on then, Pepper. Try and catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> this is a silly game. Can we play something else? OK. I know a really good game for big children. It's called Sly Fox. Sly Fox? I want to play Sly Fox. What is it? One person is the sly fox, and the others creep up on them. Me, me! I want to be the sly fox. Peppa <laughs> is the sly fox. While her back is turned, the others creep up on her. But if Peppa turns and sees someone move, they have to go back to the start. George, I saw you move. Back to the start. <laughs> Got you. I win. You move before I was ready. The rules say I can move when I like, don't they, George? <coughs> now it's Chloe's turn to be the sly fox. Pepper and George must stay very still. Ah! Pepper, I saw you move. Back to the start. <coughs> it's not fair. You look too long. The rules say I can look as long as I want. <coughs> Back to the start. <coughs> George is the winner. <laughs> Can we play a different game? Yes, but as long as it's a grown-up game. I know. Let's play my favourite game. It's very grown-up. George, do you know what Peppa's favourite game is? <laughs> Peppa's favourite game is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George, if you jump in puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> I've brought some boots for you too, Chloe. I'm too grown up to jump in muddy puddles. Oh, so am I. <laughs> George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Secretly, Peppa would love to jump in the puddle, but she wants to look grown up. 
I hear there's some puddle jumping going on. Uh, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love jumping in muddy puddles. It does look fun. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Maybe there's a rule that says big girls can jump in muddy puddles. Yeah, that's a good rule. Thank you. Thank you. Peppa and Chloe love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even grown-up girls. <laughs> It is tea time, and Mummy Pig has a surprise for everyone. Today is a day for pancakes. Pancakes, delicious. <laughs> I love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> everyone loves pancakes. I'm the expert at flipping the pancakes over. Leave that to me. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? <coughs> yes, you can help me make the batter. <coughs> First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> no, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. Delicious! This pancake is for Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Mummy Pig. <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> is everyone watching? The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> a one, two, three... Hoopla! <gasps> Silly Daddy. Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Oh, what a shame. That was the last pancake. It should be a simple matter to get it down. <sighs> oh dear. Daddy Pig cannot reach his pancake. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I think I know a way to get it down. Let's go upstairs, children. <laughs> this way. <laughs> what is Mummy Pig planning to do? On the count of three, we all have to start jumping up and down. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Worked. Now Daddy Pig has his pancake. Daddy has a pancake on his head. Oh. <laughs> Syrup on your pancake, Daddy Pig? Yes, please. <laughs> One, two, three, hoopla! Mm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Babysit. 
Pig. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going out for the evening. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are going to babysit. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Danky Pig, Papa Pig. Hello, my little ones. Hello. Peppa, George, into your beds, quick. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Sleep tight. Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> What little darlings! <laughs> Now go to sleep quickly. Yes, Mummy. So well behaved. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are leaving for their evening out. And George is so good. They just fell asleep when Mummy Pig told them to. This babysitting is easy. George, George, are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> Noises. I wonder if we should check upstairs. <laughs> Papa, George, are you awake? Well, I never. Fast asleep. So it wasn't Pepper and George making all that noise. I can't hear anything. I think they really have fallen asleep. Let's watch some television. Gardening. Today we are talking about roses. Oh, I love gardening programs. The gift's gate is a particularly thorny rose. To prune it, start by lopping off the head, and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig, Pepper, George, you should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist, but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Hmm, this program is very boring. Hmm, Grandpa Pig, can you play that game where he throws up and catches? Okay, but just one turn each. <laughs> Whee! Oh, 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 you seem heavier than before. <laughs> Oh, now it's George's turn. Wee! <laughs> My turn. Wee! <laughs> higher, higher. Wee! Maybe Grandpa Pig is a bit tired. I know. Granny Pig, let's play catch. Uh. <laughs> You're it. Catch us if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep. Hello, anyone here? <laughs> the little piggies are asleep, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is going to her first ballet lesson. This is Madame Gazelle, the ballet teacher. Aho, oh, you must be young Pepper. I am Madame Gazelle. Hello, Madame. Oh, so sweet. 
welcome to your first lesson of the ballet. <laughs> I'll pick you up later. Bye bye. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends: Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit, and Pedro Pony. Children, today we have a new pupil, Peppa Pig. Now, Peppa, run and join your friends. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Children, we begin with demi plié. Demi plié. Now a little jump. Petit jeté. With grace and beauty, petit jeté. Grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. The ballet lesson is a lot of fun. Raise your arms. Imagine that you are beautiful swans. And what noise do you think a swan might make? Meow. Nay. Oh. Nay. Grace and beauty. Peppa loves dancing. Everyone loves dancing. <laughs> mummy, mummy, we all danced to swans. Peppa did very well. I had to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye, bye. <laughs> Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> Daddy George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George, and Mummy will find it very hard. First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy, and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words. But really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should leave the ballet to Peppa. Yes, I am the best at it. I am a beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George are having a picnic. Here's some orange juice for you, Teddy. What do you say? Thank you very much, Peppa. You are very welcome, Teddy. Here's some orange juice for you, Mr. Dinosaur. And what do you say? Grrr. You are very welcome, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Would Teddy or Mr. Dinosaur like a cookie? We're not very hungry, so Peppa and George can eat all the cookies. Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> what was that strange noise? Peppa, George, 
Quick, come inside the house. Mummy, there was a loud bang sound. It's thunder, Pepper. It means there will be a thunderstorm with lots of rain. Quick, into the house before the rain starts. <laughs> no need to panic. The rain is still a long way off. The sky is getting darker and darker. There is going to be a thunderstorm. Pepper, George, did you bring all your toys in from the garden? Dinosaur. Good. Mr. Dinosaur is safe. Teddy, I left Teddy in the garden. He'll get wet. Don't worry, Pepper. Daddy Pig will rescue Teddy. You'd better hurry, Daddy Pig. It's just about to rain. I know all about thunderstorms. It won't rain for ages. <laughs> As I thought, plenty of time before it rains. <laughs> He's soaking wet. Yes, poor Teddy. Let's get him dry. Poor Teddy. <laughs> there you are, Teddy. All dry. <laughs> ah, chew. What about poor Daddy? I'm soaking wet too. Oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. Let's get you dry. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Daddy Pig. Nice and dry. Oh. The rain is coming in the house. The floor is getting wet. Oh dear. What can we do, Daddy Pig? Don't worry. Daddy Pig is using a bucket to catch the drips. Well done, Daddy Pig. Easy as pie. Eh? What? <gasps> Find something else to catch the water. Well done, Pepper. Easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, the thunder bags are very loud. It's okay, children. Don't be frightened. Let's count between each flash and bang. The higher we can count, the further away the thunderstorm is. One. Two, three. That's three. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. The thunderstorm is going away. The thunderstorm is over. Hooray! <laughs> The thunderstorm has filled the garden with muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I love thunderstorms. They make muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish. <laughs>